Hello everybody, welcome to Griffin Games and Comics, our comic book picks for the week of July 9th. We got all sorts of really cool series that are starting out from across the board, so let's get into it. DC's got a bunch of cool new stuff coming out this week. First thing I want to mention is the new Suicide Squad. That's right, Suicide Squad number one is really cool. Has some of the old standbys on the team, like Harley Quinn, but also adding, let's see, Black Manta, Joker's Daughter... Deathstroke. So it's a totally new team. I don't think all of them have bombs in their necks like they used to. And Amanda Waller, she's not in charge as much as she used to be either. So should make up for some catastrophe. That's a recipe for catastrophe. Should be fun to read. Next one I want to mention is Grayson. Grayson number one. So what is this? This is Nightwing's ended. Nightwing series ended with a Forever Evil storyline. Um, Nightwing's identity came out as him being Dick Grayson, and the world thinks that he's dead, for all intents and purposes. Uh, this issue starts him off on his new career, infiltrating the secret society, and he is badass. Let me tell you, it was a great issue. I'm really looking forward to this series. So, any Nightwing fans, you're going to love this. Grayson. Let's talk about Deadpool. Deadpool's series continues with Deadpool number 31, still an original sent tie-in, although I doubt how important of a tie-in that's actually going to be. But what's also really exciting about Deadpool is Deadpool's Dracula's Gauntlet is starting this week with number one on that, and this is the story of how Deadpool met his wife, which is really interesting. I didn't want to see Deadpool battle undead hordes of vampires, and this comic's got it, so looking forward to this series. All right, so this is going to be a little confusing because this is an Original Sin tie-in. Um, it's Original Sin number 5.1, but it's the first issue in telling Thor and Loki's story, uh, Thor and Loki, the Tenth Realm, which is really cool because it looks like it's incorporating uh, Angela from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, who's a recent character in Guardians of the Galaxy, might end up being someone's sister. No spoilers there. Let's talk about Images The Spread, number one, by Justin Jordan, Kyle Strame. This book looks really neat. I like post-apocalyptic stories, and this is definitely an interesting one. It's about this uh, hatchet-wielding guy named No in this crazy world. Looks like Earth has been taken over by this, like, um, some sort of a virus growth, animal growth kind of a thing. It's just spreading over everything and eating all sorts of stuff. He's kind of immune to it and is how he's able to survive. Comes across this uh, child, this baby, who looks like uh, her DNA can actually kill this stuff called the spread. And she is becoming essentially the last hope for humanity. So it has already crazy alien virus thing eating all of the planet. Um, bandits, all that stuff you love about violent post-apocalyptic worlds. Looks like it's going to be a really cool series. Image and Top Cow have collaborated to bring us this book that has um, written story art. All of it's done by, I'm probably going to butcher this name, Sejapon Sejik. And it is really good. The, uh, the book is Death Vigil, Death Vigil number one. And this first issue is a big issue. It's like 44 pages or so long. A really cool art, really interesting use of text and everything and the word bubbles and all that. But what's it about? It's about this guy dies, gets recruited by death in order to help out the Grim Reaper, who's a pretty cool lady, actually, it seems. Um, not the first of his kind to be like this because she needs a couple of assistants to take down all sorts of supernatural baddies like demons and necromancers and stuff like that. So... Very interesting, humorous, horror, supernatural story. I think it has a lot of potential. Marvel's bringing us a cool trade this week. X-Men Battle of the Atom, finally, in its uh, complete trade paperback form. This is a really cool X-Men story. It involves time travel. So you had the X-Men from present day, of course. X-Men from the future... And the original X-Men from back in the day, uh, back in the original costumes and everything. This is before Beast was Blue kind of X-Men. So it's a really interesting read to see some of the same characters throughout three different timelines within their development, interacting and all with each other and how different their powers can be, even amongst the same characters. Very cool read if you're an X-Men fan. All right, Image is bringing us another awesome book uh, that Brandon Montclair and Amy Reader are doing this series. It's called Rocket Girl. And the first trade's finally out. It's really, really, really good. 
It's this uh, cool story about this um, young time cop. She's a teenage time cop. Goes back into the into our past, 1986, to investigate crimes on this mega corporation. And while she's doing all this, she finds out that her reality shouldn't even exist in the first place. That it's kind of a fluke. Uh, she comes back from a super high-tech version of 2013, where apparently teenagers are the police. So, <laughs> very entertaining read. Really enjoy Amy Reader's work in this. For all you Magic the Gathering players, we got good news. The 2015 core set is being pre-released this weekend. If you uh, get in on it and pre-purchase your slots for the pre-release, we will give you a free deck box, which is very fun. Anyways, check out our website, griffingamesandcomics.com, and uh, you'll see all our events. But to wrap them up real quick, we got a Friday Midnight Sealed. We got a Saturday uh, Two-Headed Giant also sealed, and then later on Saturday, another sealed uh, single-person event at 6, and then a Sunday sealed event as well at 11. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this video with people you might think might like it, and yeah, like I said, check out our website. All sorts of really cool stuff we got going on. We just barely scratched the surface with these videos, so check that stuff out. Thanks a lot.